Have you noticed that a lot of guys get interested in you but then get turned off despite you being an attractive woman? There's a likelihood that you just maybe do things that, that, are, turning them, that are turning them off, right? And I, I, I promise you that no matter how good looking you are, if you exhibit these traits, he's pulling away. It's that simple, right? So what, what we're going to do, we're going to be going over a breakdown and we're going to be using um, the, a, the Fresh Prince where the, with Fresh Prince Bel Air is, is, a, is a show, of course, with Will Smith. And there's a scene where Will is meeting up with his best friend's um, girlfriend, his best friend's sister, which is Janet, right? And she, Janet, shows you what happens when you portray these traits and how guys get turned off. And I'm going to tell you what to do to avoid them. Right. So with that being said, if you guys need one on one coaching, personal coaching, if you guys have those traits inside of you, you need help to um, improve your, your relationship with men. Just go to the link below. Mindfulattraction.org slash in the game coaching. By the way, if you're in Bushwick and you want to attend my meditation group where we meditate together and you guys can meet people who have a similar interest to you, you guys can click on the description down below. And we're having a meditation meetup, a meditation circle on November 6th and all the and other times to be honest with you, not just November 6th. Click on the description down below where it says um, join the group. You can either WhatsApp me or hit me up on Instagram and I'll send you the information. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. Here we go. You know what would be fun? I can think of a couple things. <laughs> It would be fun to take your cousin Ashley out sometime. I love kids. <laughs> yeah, where kids are great. Do you want kids of your own? Oh, definitely. See, she's trying to be slick. She's trying to like, you know, I, I know that move. I know, I know, I know that move. Just mention kids and see how he reacts. You'd be a great dad. You too, baby. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell you this, but the moment I saw you, I knew we'd be great together. I hope it wasn't the leather jacket that did it. Can you see what happened there? Is that, why am I doing this? It's like Donald Trump, right? Is that she's looking at the world and trying to find a suitor. Nothing wrong with that. The problem is that, which is the first thing that turns men off, is having your own agenda. Wherein you don't just see men for who they are. You see men through the lenses of if he will fit your agenda. You see, so it's kind of like you already have your preconceived intentions. Nothing wrong with that, right? But you got to be smart about it. See, the issue with her is not the fact that she has her own agenda, but the problem is that she's, being, she, she's bringing it out way too early. She's being way too forceful. And when you have your own agenda, it causes you to prematurely show interest to, uh, on the guy, right? And that will dictate the way you behave with the guy because then the guy's going to sense that you really want to commit. He's going to sense it. He's going to sense your, your commitment already. And that's unattractive to a guy. Even though you're good looking, a guy wants to feel as though he, he earned your love. But when you, when you already see him, you're like, all right, he could, be, he could be a husband. The guy feels like he's being forced. Like, it really does feel that way. So what you have to do is to, if you have your own agenda, it's better off to actually back off and don't even mention it. Actually, even better. If you have your own agenda, you want to be indirect about it. You see, you, you want to be subtle about it so that, for so example, like this, this is how it's done. I wrote some notes based on this, right? So it says, um, oh, no, this is, not, this is not the notes. But so if you want a relationship, put them in a friend zone. Or if you want a relationship, act as though you are uncertain. Talk about guys you've been with. Talk about guys who you were in a relationship with and tell them how much you loved being with them. But right now, you don't know, who to, you, you, you don't know what you want right now. You don't know if you're looking for a relationship. But talk about how when you like a guy, it's because he's an amazing person. Saying stuff like that, I'm telling you, look, I'm, 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 I'm speaking like this because it worked on me. When you talk about how you only like, the guys who you like are, are, are usually guys who are amazing, but then you say that yeah, you are uncertain about him, it challenges the guy. And it makes the guy say, why? Why not me? And it makes him work for you. I'm, look, I'm telling you, I know some of you guys don't believe me, but I'm just telling you from a guy, from my experience. But let's keep watching. Silly. You're not wearing the jacket now, are you? Mm-mm. I never, I never will be again. <laughs> Clothes don't make the man. And will. You are my man. Oh, my man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> you see, and so... When you try to say, okay, let's just, let's just, let's show you this part. Here you go. 
Well, maybe we should look at the menu. You see, he's he's interested, right? Everything's going well. Okay, nothing nothing crazy has happened yet, right? Until you start seeing this. If I can get my eyes to focus. I am getting a little hungry. Baby, have the lobster, have the caviar, anything you want. Well, I know I don't want lobster or caviar. They're much too expensive. <laughs> right, we are going to be great together. Hi, I'm Gia. Hi, uh, I'm Will. Uh, you ready to order? Oh, well, we certainly are. I'm not. <laughs> and I'll come back. Oh, shit. Well, William, can we get one thing straight? <laughs> when you are with me, I don't want you to be looking at other women. I call this the who's the bitch syndrome. All right, and that's when you're overly jealous. You see, there's nothing wrong with being a, we're having some light jealousy because it's, it's healthy in a relationship, right? Nothing wrong with that. The problem is when, when you have so much jealousy that you're, you don't trust your man talking to any other woman. Now, that may be because he may, have cheated on the, uh, he may have cheated on you and you're still suspicious, but if that's the case, why are you with him? Okay, maybe you guys are, on the, are, are have kids and you're in a, very, in a logistical situation where you can't leave him. Because you are because you are depending on him, and that's something you gotta work on. But generally speaking, though, being overly jealous, I'm telling you, that's something that a, a guy feels, and it, and it's something that you cannot hide. So what you have to do is, they're, they're, jealousy is something that cannot be helped, and I believe that, unless you're actually working on yourself. So what you have to do is rather than Rather than acting on your jealousy, you want to first observe the physical sensations of your jealousy because what's going on is that there's a discomfort in your body. You see, you've been used to, as soon as you feel that kind of discomfort, which is uncertainty or, or that you might lose them, your mind begins to create different, different scenarios in your mind that doesn't really reflect reality. So a good thing to do is to observe the physical sensation of neediness, not the, um, of jealousy, not the mental projections, but the sensation, the physical sensation of being jealous. That will allow you to go deeper into the experience and will allow you to actually accept the jealousy. Rather than accepting the images, you accept the physical sensation. That allows your body to process it, to process it out of your body. Wherein you'll see those thoughts and you'll hear, you'll hear the thoughts of jealousy and, and, and the mental projections, but they won't be backed up by a physical sensation. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you have to go into it. Yoga works with that. Yoga works with, with becoming more aware of your body. Meditation works. Meditate on the feeling of jealousy and just observe the feeling of jealousy. That allows you to actually process that out. So that is, it's not that you're using, it's not that you're controlling your environment in order to not feel jealous. You see, because that's, that's, just a, that's just a symptom. What you're doing is you're going deeper into the experience and go at the heart of the problem, which is your desire not to feel that emotion, which is what you call jealousy. Feel the sensation and don't notice the label and you'll naturally allow your body to process that out of you. You see? Because again, there's nothing wrong with being jealous. But when you act like this, the, the guy's going to feel like you're being too controllative. And I will go on to the next point, but let's just keep watching the video. Well, other one. <laughs> I saw you looking at that waitress. So you can just put those old googly eyes back in your head, all right? <laughs> Hello? I said, all right? Alright. Gia. Uh oh. I like the swordfish and a salad, no dressing. What about you, Will? I do. <laughs> I, I have the, the steak rare. Steak is really unhealthy. Do you need another minute here? No, 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 no. He'll have the same thing I'm having, plus a baked potato, no butter, no sour cream. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I like sour cream. You like sour cream. You used to. But from now on, you need to watch that cholesterol. I'm not having my husband dying of a heart attack at 40 and leaving me to raise six kids by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, boo -boo. Six kids? That's right, baby. Three girls, three boys. Think and about don't calling even them Will. Think about naming one of them William. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, Jen, whoa, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sheesh. <laughs> I mean, don't you think this is a little early to be talking about marriage? Excuse me? 
Well, then what did you have in mind? I don't know. Dinner, maybe a dance or two? <laughs> Is that right? A moment ago, you were chewing on my earlobe, Mr. Niblet. You see, and so that's what happens. Is that a guy will be interested in you, but going on to the next point, which is being being too controllative. That guy, that guy, when that shit makes any guy think you're crazy. But it doesn't matter how good looking you are, or the emotions that he felt for you. But if you show these signs, especially being overly jealous and having your own agenda, and then being controllative, the guy's gonna get turned off immediately. Nobody likes to feel controlled, at least directly. We don't mind being passively controlled. You see, through positive reinforcement. But when a guy feels like you, you're, you're, you're controlling the way he thinks, who he's with, where he goes, the guy's going to feel, the guy's gonna feel trapped. You see, so what he's going to do is he's going to try to find some way to relieve that. So he may even, he may even try to cheat on you. He may, even, he may even break up with you, especially if you guys are early on in the relationship. And if the guy has, and if the guy has stayed with you, with you showing these signs, I can promise you that there is some resentment inside of him that he, that he manifests in different ways. Maybe, maybe they're so subtle that you don't even notice it, right? So you have to stop trying to control men. You have to stop trying to control him. He's not your project. He's not your pet project. I'm telling you, man, women who try to control their guys, try to control their habits, forcefully at least, end up alone. It's that simple. You want to be indirect about it. If you want him to change your habit, be indirect. Change yourself first and then be the example. Direct words, even though you're changing him, being direct about it makes him feel resentful towards you. So you could win the battle, but you're going to lose a war. That's because you're thinking short term. You got to think proactively and think longer term. Trying to control a guy, trying to make him to your pet project in order to improve him to, because you see potential is not a good recipe. You got to find the guy that you want that's ready for you rather than trying to, find, trying to fix the guy that's already broken. All right, let's keep watching. Did you think you could sample the milk without putting a down payment on the cow? I want a lemonade. Well, you're not going to drink it. You're cutting out that sugar, too. No husband of mine is going to sit around getting fat and watching TV all day and leaving me with all the work of raising six kids by myself. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, boo -boo. <laughs> But, but, I'm, but, 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 but nothing. And look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Look, man, that is, this is what happens. And that usually stems from insecurity. You're not comfortable in your own skin. You feel like you cannot control your world, so you try to control what's ever closer to you. And so if, you're, if you have your own agenda, which is, I need marriage and that's it, and I'm looking for a husband, nothing wrong with that. But ease into it. Don't bring it in too early in the relationship. If you're overly jealous... You gotta, begin, you, you gotta begin to become more aware of the sensation of jealousy rather than on the mental projections. The mental projections comes as a result of your own interpretation on life and on men. So you gotta go deeper into the experience and experience jealousy not in its, in, in, not in, not in its um, mental representation, but in the physical sensation. I have a video on that where I teach you guys how to mindfully experience those negative emotions, right? And also, stop trying to control guys. Stop trying to change them, at least forcefully. Don't be direct. Be indirect if you want to change the guy. If you want him to start going to the gym, you start going to the gym. And to even tell him, help me, help, me keep, uh, help me stay accountable. Stuff like that, you have to be indirect about it. You can't be direct because when guys and when people in general feel manipulated directly and controlled, they're going to resent you. And as a result, they'll try to gain control one way or the other. And that's what, stuff like that makes guys think you're just crazy. And you will always end up alone. And the more insecurity you have, the more you try to feel better through getting guys' validation, the more that pattern is going to act out in you. And as a result, it's going to, it's gonna gra it's gonna have like its own momentum. It's going to get worse the older you get. Which means that the older, the older you get, not only, not, only is gonna get is it, not only does it get more difficult, but it's going to get even more difficult because you have this layer of insecurity and insanity. Anyways, this is Alex with MindfulAttraction.org. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, just go to MindfulAttraction.org slash coaching. If you guys want to attend my seminar, you see the link below. Follow me on social media. you see it right there. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is Natural Chemistry. This course 
is a five week course. Five week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord, have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I could promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right. I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.